Yeah, but I know what you mean. Like, sometimes that's happened to me before, too. Like, I'll just be watching a random YouTube video, and suddenly, I don't know, it just starts buffering. Um, but I am ready. All right, starting in three, two, one, go. And there is yet another handsome Pro Dolls baller. That is, of course, Stork, 11 and 5 this season. Mm. Uh, and he's going to be playing a PBZ against a lone white on a Neo Outlier, which uh, may be a bit of deja vu for some of you because, of course, Jangbi faced this Zerg player on Outlier the last time these teams met. And that was, of course, the game where Jangby just went two gate in his main because he's like, well, they sent out a random Zerg on Outlier to play me. There's probably something fishy going on here. And as you can see on the stats, Alone has only got two games this season, and his one loss was against Jangby. So hopefully Ooh. Stork can uh, can uh, do something similar. Yeah, who is Alone? Like, he must have some other ID that I'd know him by. Uh, or is he just, like, some random guy? Um, I guess I can check. Uh, <laughs> he's he's like random guy. Oh, he's an SKT Zerg. That's like default random guy. I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. Yeah. Okay. He is just a random person. <laughs> well, I like Coach Park's dedication. He's been sending sacrificial SKT Zergs out for a while now, in hopes of getting them better. Um, yeah. I don't know. I feel like us too. How has S2 been doing this season? I feel like at least one SKT Zerg is sort of starting to show some results. But, um, is Yeah, I, I don't it's know. Zio, I feel kind of bad Zio. for that. Ask not. I know, I know. Ask not to... how S2 or Alone are doing. But simply ask yourself, how is Hyuk <laughs> doing? Huh? I, uh? You know what? I... Hyuk, I always remember him all killing STX in their own tournament. Back in, like... 2009 or 2010 or something. And Hyuk, he's also like effort once in like the last two years, and J and Jadong once. <laughs> so he's had his moments in the past like four years, okay? January so beautiful. Wait, what's going on? Why are we why are we looking at the coaches? Where's the game? Where's the game? All right, there's Bunky. Bunky so beautiful. Coach Park is definitely the most fashionable of coaches, though. But I like what? I like January. Dude, um, Juhun, man, Juhun. Which coach is that? Fashionable teammate, coach, man. Ah, oh, he wears those stupid glasses and leather hat every time. Are you what? Kidding me? Stupid, stupid glasses? Are you? Are you he's so cool. get, get out of here! Get out of here! He's just shy from the camera. That's why he like pulls his hat down low and puts on the glasses. Freaking Bisu fanboy, no taste. <laughs> <sighs> Coach Park always has these like really nicely tailored suits and everything. Such good composure. He's a he's a good role model. So, are we just gonna watch the commentators do nothing? Hold on, let me let me actually just skip ahead in the vod. All right, screw this. All right, games, games, go. Oh, shit, started. Okay, I'm at I'm at 350. Uh. Okay, I'm at 350. Wait, are you you're paused at 350? Yeah, I'm paused at 350. Uh, okay. Alright, ready? Alright, whatever, this is close enough. Alright, starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, here we go into set number 2. Stork versus Alone. Looks like January just uh, unleashing her two top dogs here in the first two sets. Yeah, I like it. I like this strong opening. It's exciting. Yeah, well... It's exciting in the beginning, but then you end up with like a game five that's like modesty versus Hyuk, and then you're just like, uh, this is terrible. <laughs> to be, uh, I actually, I had, a, I had an interesting conversation with Wax Angel about the new Pro League format, and I was sort of arguing that um, no more ace match is interesting because you get these potentially rookie players in these very, um, you know, high stakes games, and you get to see people like you you never see before and how they handle the pressure. Um, so I think that's kind of interesting. So it, what it you're saying is you get to see bad players decide matches. <laughs> it, it, it gives them... It, it, well, there is that aspect of it, of course. But I think it's interesting because you get to see 
I don't know, lesser players and mediocre players. Um, it, it gives them the chance to sort of become great, you know? It gives them the opportunity, which is cool. Alright. It gives them the opportunity to keep being bad. That's a sick drawing, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. Yep. Um, so. Yes, I, I am being quite hard on these poor, poor second string players. But anyway. Stork has got it in the wrong direction, gonna go in the correct direction now. Looks like he is in the top four Protosses. Rather, he is the top mm. one Protoss. So you can see Whoa, what an old guy. Wait, is kind that... Of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> what the f... What in the hell was that? Was that... Dude, that's gotta be one of those weird face mask things. Like, there's no way that guy's real. He, uh... There's no way. He bought a computer yesterday for the first time and found StarCraft, decided to check it out. I mean, alright, looks like the uh, camera guy giving us some cuties to make up for that, but, like, oh my god, like, I have nothing against old guys, but that was scary, man. I would not want to be in the crowd, like, at Pro League today. Like, this is a great match, but I would be a little bit scared if that guy was standing behind me. Yeah, it did look a little creepy. Oh my god, that was scary. I'm like, I'm like so on, scared. I blame it on the camera guy. He knew what he was doing. Oh, PP. PP. Alone's like, PP, I forgot to four pull. Can we go again? Oh. Um, yeah, so we were warned by Kiet that there would be a pause. So I guess we're going to have to skip ahead. Hold on, let me... Uh, Click ahead to the oh. game. Looks like Alone is QQing that he has to play a good player. He's like, <laughs> can you guys switch this guy out for Grape or something? And they're like, no, we can't do that. Stop whining. <laughs> you know, I hope he just crushes Stork. And All right. Oh, oh, I got the perfect time. I stopped at Leet. Yeah, I'm at 1337. Boom. 1337? Yeah, it wasn't even on purpose, man. I'm so that cool. Okay, I'm ready. All right, starting in three, two, one, go. Okay, so we are back at the other side of the pause. So does anybody know what actually happened? I mean, you know, I know Zerg players are whiners, but come on now. <laughs> anyway, forge fast expand for good old Stork going for uh. Nexus Gateway Forge, I believe, since he did scout a 12 hatch. Did we... Oh, okay. You said he did put Nexus first? Uh, I believe he did. Okay. Actually, wait, I, but then again, he did scout alone second, so that might not make as much sense. I don't know, whatever. Well, both his Gateway and Forge were still building, so I think he did go Nexus first. Hmm. And according to Buendren, yeah, in the live report thread, it said that uh, alone was having trouble with his mouse. It wasn't registering clicks. Or something. Mm. So, yeah. Typical con sabotage. Typical Zerg QQ. Cons just, you know, they're so desperate to hold on to their top dog position that they'll even, they'll even do some dirty tactic tactics against SKT Zergs. Well, I just don't understand. Like, why do you need your mouse to? Oh, I think Stork forgot to put guys on gas. Uh oh. Is that what just happened? Because he looked a little bit upset there. Oh wait, no, he's yeah. got two links in his base. How did that happen? Oh. Wait, what's going on here? I want to see the front now. Where's the cannon, or is there even a cannon? There is one cannon, but look at that. Like, the wall is not very good. <laughs> hey, man, this you can like, run right back. This is like Bisu versus Solki wall. It's just, like, not actually walling anything. Oh, that's, that's going to be annoying. Stork should just PP again. And apparently <laughs> the drone killed a probe. Hmm. But honestly, like, I don't know why you need your mouse to register clicks, because, I mean, all you gotta do is press 5SH, 6SH, 7SH, and then, like, you know, A move three yeah, times, and then you win the game. So it's not yeah, like right. you actually against need the mouse like, to work. Against someone like Stork, that's what you have to do. Definitely, yeah. So it's gonna be a while before he actually gets the lings out of the base, depending on how well alone controls them, but that's just... That's so annoying. I mean, I, I feel like Stork's strategies are now definitely limited just because of the amount of scouting alone has. Oh, is he going to get two? Oh my god, if he gets two Overlords with that Dragoon, that'd be awesome. Why is that Overlord going towards the Dragoon? <laughs> like, the other Overlord's running away, and he's just like, well, 
Maybe I'll distract him with this overlord. And then he won't kill that one. <laughs> oh, so sick. So sick. Alone, you are clearly the most Gosu of ZVP snipers. <laughs> I thought he had a nice advantage there, killing the probe and then getting the links on the base. Oh, he does get that second overlord out of there, though. So. Of course I should be out to finish it off pretty quick. Oh, uh, uh. oh. Oh, my gosh. Dude, dude, you're not an alone fan too, are you? Like, I could understand being a Bisu fan, but seriously, dude. Oh, snapping that Overlord's neck. I don't actually think Overlords have necks, but you know, whatever. Do Overlords have like a bone structure, or are they just like jellyfish? Like, uh, I think when I see like fan art pics, they sort of have these like really bony, dangly limbs. So okay. it could be like cartilage, like an octopus. I don't know. Cause it's like, cause you know how like Kit drew that queen picture for the pro league write up, and like I had absolutely no idea queen looked like that. Like my, my image, the queen, uh, the image I had of a queen in my head looks completely different from that picture. Like, and it was probably cause I like it was wrong, cause I didn't realize they had like those little dangly leg thingies. But yeah. Anyway, looks like a Stork is going to go in with three Ooh. Zelts on a Dragoon. Could do a lot of damage here. There's a lot of links coming in, though. He's going to have to run... Yeah, he's going to run behind the Natural and try and get a good position here. I really like this early aggression. If you can get away with it, um, I mean, it's, you can definitely do quite a bit of damage in Force. Oh man, that is an obnoxious position. Oh. And look at all the links he has to make, too. I don't think he had that many um, beforehand. I think Stork can actually hold this as well. Oh, man, that Zelt's not attacking! That Zelt's not attacking! Okay, now it's attacking. And Still. boom! Hello, Zerglings. Oh my god. Hello, alone. Brutal. I heard your mouse wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> so I attacked your base! And you made Zerglings, but you fail. Jeez. Sick attack by Stork. But, what a disaster. Good call from Stork, though. Um, it's that like Gosu Star Sense, I guess, that let him know that timing. And I believe he just trapped a pro behind his main minerals, so he will be able to uh, stack his Corsairs. Pretty standard stuff. There's January, trying to make uh, a face that's not too strange. I don't, think, I don't think January is actually capable of making, like, a normal face, like a CJ face, so... Or, uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, she looks like a stone-cold killer every time I see her. She never shows emotion. Actually, she did win, um... What was that guy's name? Dan? Uh, held up that sign, oh, yeah. Mary <laughs> The Kim got a little so beautiful sign, yeah. That was so cute when she like blushed and covered her mouth. Uh, oh, January. I think she definitely gets underrated because of Toss Girl, but she'll always be number one in my heart. <laughs> you and Daniel both, man. Oh, nice reaver shot. Indeed, so it looks like Stork gonna bust out the Ser Reaver. I do think that could be quite effective on this map with those back expansions. It's a, a similar dynamic to Outsider, although not quite as bad. Uh, but we got Hydra's in decent positions for uh, for alone. And oh, gonna grab one overlord there. Now the thing is, the good thing for alone is that he took a close third rather than like an island one or another natural, so it should be relatively easy to defend. But mm. Stork is just gonna go for this. It's gonna take a lot of Hydra shots there, losing one Corsair. It's a little mm. bit, a little bit. Ballsy. Didn't get an Overlord there either, I don't think. <sighs> but then Evo for is coming. Out. Drop with two Zealots. Um, I wonder how effective this will be because alone depends whether he keeps his Hydraless in position um, for when he defended against the Corsairs. Yeah, and it looks like they are in position to keep defending Corsairs. So, I'm not really sure if this drop will be effective. See, this makes me nervous. Oh, looks like still got shuttle speed. But see, when Cal did something like this and not leave a Reaver at home, he just got Hydra busted immediately and died. So <laughs> I'm kind of relieved that Alone is just being purely oh. defensive here. And ooh, got a couple of shots off. But looks like, oh, does yep. Scarab as well. Now, I don't think Stork necessarily has to do too, too much damage with this, with this attack. I mean, he's transitioning back into gateway units. And, uh, you know, if you can just force the drones to pull off the minerals a little bit and... Uh, you know, just get a few free kills here and there. Should be good to go. Looks like he's going back to uh, pick up a second Reaver. Yeah, to be honest, against someone as inexperienced as alone, the longer the game goes on, I think Stork's chances of winning just sort of increase. <laughs> like, he's, he, he must have been worried at the beginning of the match the most about just dying to some Hydra bust or some early cheese or something like that. 
But now that things have started to stabilize and he has some Reavers out, he must be feeling pretty comfortable. Yeah, looks like that probe that's used for stacking is just freaking out there. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no, Stork, what are you doing? Oh mm. man, nice target firing, by the way. Uh, alone definitely manually right clicked those uh, Corsairs so the Hydras would focus fire them down, but it looks like a bunch of Zelts moving out. Now they don't have speed yet, I hope. Oh, look at that. Finishing just as he moves out, very nice. Now there are some spotting Zerglings out on the map. It looks like uh, you're going to see the Zelts. Does not see the shuttle, though. Uh, yeah, oh, does run around to see it now. And I wonder if Stork's going to take his um, third base while this attack is going out because he just uh, mined out those minerals. Uh, oh! Come on! <laughs> wow, that He should be able to hold those off with the Scourge, though. Or with the Stairs, and he does. Um, and, and now this attack is... Uh, oh, man. Alone's Hydras are completely out of position for this. Like, what were they doing? So we're going to be careful not to get the shuttle sniped. It looks like the shuttle is being targeted. It's going to stay alive in the red health. One Reaver going down. Can he save the other Reaver? The shuttle is almost dead. It's going to die. Uh, no! The shuttle gets taken down. Uh, uh, I think uh, if Stork had kept running away with the shuttle, he, he would have gotten out of there alive, I think. But he, he didn't want to risk it and decided to drop the Reaver for one more shot, I think. Um, I actually thought he was going to do a lot more damage there. Oh man, he, I know he got a decent number of drone kills, a decent number of Hydra kills, but now he's going to be on the defensive here. A lot of Hydras moving in. He does have a bunch of gateways, but he's only been making Zelt so far. Is Wait, is this going to be a drop? Oh man, that could be terrible. Oh my oh. god, I swear to god, if Stork loses to this guy, I'm just going to like, stop the cast. Like, <laughs> screw the rest of this series. Alright, looks like we yeah. have a 2 zealot counterattack for Stork, really and here's the failed. drop, the Corsairs yeah. are all dead, the Pylon's gonna see it, oh man, Stork's pulling his units back, but this is gonna be so hard to defend. He built a bunch of cannons at the front, but like, oh, and the shuttle's up there is to he gonna drop on the very, probes? Very That's a curious decision, is there even enough space <laughs> there? Oh my god, complete nice clusterfuck in the for, main. It's harder for the Zealot to get in there, and uh, surround the Hydras, I think, um, so it's a pretty good... Pretty nice spot to drop. Yeah, but the probes uh, are all, all, will be attacking while like the hydras are dropping as well, and it looks like yeah, Stork actually cleans this up. I don't think he took that yeah. much damage, but there's two hydras behind the minerals. The Zells can't get them. <laughs> can get back there? I don't know. Oh, oh my God! He kills, he kills the Reaver. The High Templar run! <laughs> oh my God, run, run! High Templar wasting two storms. Oh my God! And those two hydras, the six kills on that guy. <laughs> and just, just getting those high temples at the end there, making them waste their energy and morph into an Archon. Oh man, uh, those Hydras yeah. are trolling so hard! Look at that! <laughs> those That's Hydras! Um, if I was Stark, I would be so angry. Like, look at that! He can't kill them! He cannot he's attack those Hydras! <laughs> He's gonna have to use a Storm or uh, an Archon, oh maybe. God, we'll see if the so scarab. Oh, the Scarab can get to them. Uh. Uh, I'm not even mad if Stork loses anymore, that was so funny. <laughs> oh god. I think Stork's actually in trouble. Really a mouth breather? Huh? Is Stork usually a mouth breather? Uh, like Haya? And not Gogo? as bad as Haya, but he does. Mm. So, Stork is, like, just a little bit behind in supply compared to Alone. Now, that does occasionally happen when you go Sarah Reaver. Well, that wasn't very good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we see a uh, DT going out in the map just to scout around, I guess. Yeah, it's picking off some scouting Zerglings. It'll be quite helpful if he wants to go out with another shuttle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so where does Alone go from here? Um, he didn't really do much... Well, he did a fair amount of damage with that drop. Yeah, look at that. The saturation in the main is very bad. Uh, I think as long as he can defend now and not take any insane damage from any counter reaver harass or anything, he'll be fine. Yeah, he's just going to expand again at the 6 o'clock. Uh, you know, he's not taking up too quickly or anything, not going going to hive. Uh, staying on the slayer tick is absolutely fine f uh, for the time being. And, I mean, he's got a good. He's in a good position now. As long as he can keep this for the rest of the game, he'll he'll be fine. Um, but, you know, as you were saying earlier, Stork's pretty good, so going to late game against him, you know, just gives him more chances to come back and could be a little yeah, bit risky. Yeah, I, I doubt Alone's ability to uh, dodge Stork storms very well or really engage um, efficiently if it gets to that point, so... 
And interestingly, Stork actually just, he saw the 6 o'clock, but he didn't attack it, he just left the DT there. So I think what he's going to do is he's going to wait until there's a big engagement at some point, and then he's just going to send the DT into the mineral lines to just kill drones while both players are focusing on the main army engagement. Uh, it's a pretty common tactic for Protoss, of course, the DTs, you don't need to micro them, you just put them in the mineral line and they kill all the drones for you. They're really nice. DTs, man, really hard workers. Yeah, I think that kind of foresight um, is what really gives the best players the edge in games. Like, someone like Stork doing that is not unexpected, but from other Protoss players, um, I don't know, it's, it might be something rare to see. Although, it looks like Stork actually just sent the DT in now, so uh, going in a little bit too early here, since they start attacking the hatchery, there's a bunch of mutas, but there's a lot of Dragoons in this composition. This is a very strong composition for Stork. Two Reavers, a lot of Dragoons, a few uh, High Templars. Gotta be careful though, the mutas going in, gonna try and take down the High Templar. That Archon is not in position, the Dragoons doing a lot of damage. He's gotta make sure oh. at least not to lose these Reavers, doing some decent micro here. But he looks like he lost all of his High Templars. No, he actually put, he picked one up in the shuttle. Wow, that's cute. Yeah, that's pretty sick micro. Meanwhile, oh no, he actually gets the shuttle, but the, the High Templar gets out and gets its storms off. I think an Observer died there, but there's no Lurkers on the well, field. All the Mutas die. And this is going to be so hard for Alone to defend. That's a lot of Dragoons, two Reavers backing it up. Is that... He has a, bu he has a bunch of Lynx sitting back there that I think he's forgetting about. Oh man, and this is a horrible engagement angle as well for Alone. He's getting stuck on his own hatcheries. He's walking into the Dragoons and Reavers. He cannot get a flank off. This is really difficult. The Zealots chilling at the back there. They don't, they're not even needed. Oh man, Stork <laughs> wiping the floor with Alone's army. Yeah. I think that DT got killed though. I think the hatchery's still there. Yeah, that was just a horrible engagement from Alone. Um, and Stork did a good job keeping his shuttle alive. Um, picking that High Templar up. And I'm pretty sure Alone right now is forgetting about like a control group of Lings. Yeah, man. Because um, those 12 Lings, they would definitely have won that battle, man. Like, Stork well, would have had no I'm hope. He would have had no hope! The Cho'Galings, they're too strong. No, I agree with you, man. The Cracklings, they're really good. Yeah. They're actually too good. I think they need to be nerfed. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I saw Cracklings when I was playing Brood War with my brother. And uh, they just like took out all my Dragoons and I was like, what the fuck is with these Zerglings? Why do they get so strong suddenly? GG! Dude when, dude, when I started playing, like, back in the day, man, when I only played on Challenger, I came up with this 6 strat. I was like, man, Cracklings are really good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go for a Crackling Rush. So I went for like a 5 pool <laughs> into Crackling Rush, and then like, I didn't know that you need a Hive to get Adrenal Glands. So like I got a lair and then like I, I kept trying to click it but it was grayed out. I'm like, why is this not letting me upgrade adrenal glands? <laughs> oh, I got so mad. I was like, oh my crackling rush, it's not working. <laughs> oh, it's terrible man, terrible times. I'd say they're definitely one of the scariest units in the game though. What was that uh there's some awesome game on match point um where Com just made like like I don't even know, hundreds of links, and he kept flooding them in, like, single file to the Terran's base. Do you know what I'm talking about? Maybe not. Uh, not really. Uh. I can hear more uh, Popsicle wrapper crackling, though. Is that what it is? <laughs> yep. Boom, calling it. Alright, you ready with the next?